Yo, well, good evening, folks, and uh, it's Ian. Uh, it's typical, this, isn't it? Just typical. Look, I've got an S8 car. You know that. And that the back seats are always down. But uh, I cleaned the car inside and out uh, yesterday. Polished, polished everything. Polished all the seats, doors, inside the... And that was that. So of course I didn't think I'd be gaining any scrap. But of course today oof, get a load of scrap. It ain't much. But I work on the you know a little bit of everything soon adds up. I'll show you that in a minute because that is interesting. However, I've just got home from work and uh, it's not been raining. Every word's bone dry. These type of houses, we have a, you can see it there, I don't know if you can see it, that black line there, we have an, I'll focus here, I'll focus to you, we have an overflow, so obviously, my overflow is working, because it's overflowed, see, damn bird, so, I need to go into the attic, and find out, why my overflow is overflowing, well, I know the answer, don't I? It's because the ball valve is, uh, the wash is no longer sealing, so when it's at its limit, it's still letting water out. So, I need to get into the garage, get a few tools, get into the attic and see what the problem is. I'll see you up there. <laughs> so, I have got a... Uh, access to the attic, drop the ladders down and I'll, s I'll see you up here and there. I can't do this getting out the hatch, I'm still filming. Okay, I'm up here, so I've had to move a few things. It's not much we keep up here, <laughs> and I hate showing you. Uh, Christmas decorations, which I've basically moved over there, a few odds and sods which uh, we want to need occasionally. Right, what have we got? Well, we've got a gravity fed hot water central heating system. So that small 10 gallon tank, that holds uh, the water supply for the hot water heating system. So if I get a drying anything out that'll top it up we then also have because we have a gas boiler hot water system if we have a large I think it's a 46 36 gallon water tank it's uh, insulated it's also got a separate immersion heater should I need it there's water is drawn out for washing showering it is topped up by this pipe here uh, there's, there's shut off valves everywhere and that which i think is a 50 gallon tank it holds the cold water supply that feeds the hot water cylinder all right so the per persons who designed this and I didn't like what they did put the overflow from that tank into this tank and this tank has the overflow that goes out through the wall and you saw the water on the outside and the first thing to suss out is both these water levels are regulated by a ball valve one there a floating ball valve one there one there now is it that one that's failed allowing it to fill up and go over or is it that one that's failed allowing it to fill into the no no way to find that is to put the hand over the top oh see that is The, the ball is submerged so 
this tank, the washer, and that ball valve there has failed. And uh, that's allowing water to drip in, even above the shut-off level, which is when that ball ought to be uh, floating. Overflowing, as I said, into this one. So this one will definitely be full. See, that ball is totally submerged. Uh, so I've got to get some water out. Easiest way for me to do that is I brought a five gallon bucket up and I shall say, siphon some water out of the into the and I can't do that one handed. Right, so I've done the old siphon trick. I'll draw out focus, some water to lower that level. And then I'll have to do the same with that. <laughs> so taking some safety precautions, I've now uh, got this down because that was way oh, 30 kilos easily. I don't know. I suppose you look it up. How much does uh, five gallon of water weigh? So I'm going to dispose of that outside. Okay, I've changed my pipe because that one's a bit more higher, drawing some stuff out of that. Uh, there's no water going in because I've turned that ball valve to off. To be honest, I really need to change that into a into a gate valve uh, like that whilst that's draining I'm not showing you around but uh, <laughs> get that that's a that's a holographic effect but if I take that off it says Happy birthday Ian, best wishes mum and dad uh, and your two sisters and my brother and I recall that was my ninth birthday you can't, I mean I'm not going to tell but it's you look at it from one point of view it's that way and you're going to be doing something else I don't know, I've had it a long time it can stay there well, so we're at it about that. Just outside here. Bunch of old photographs that I've been going through. No, I dare not show you all of them. Uh, you know, my wife is very reluctant to appear on uh, YouTube, but if she's not there, I can show you this one. Uh, oh God, I wouldn't even like to say how old I was there. Twen late twenties, yeah, late twenties. Well, there she goes. There's my beloved for all of YouTube to see. Domestic bliss. Uh, this one for the ladies. Oh God, Benny Dorm, Benny Dorm, 1977. Ah, I did some daft things then. So with that taken out. Okay, I can stand up in here without dropping the iPhone in here. You can see that the the ball valve is now floating. So when it gets like that, it should cut the floor water. So let me turn the water back on. Put that in there. Turn. Focus. I hate this autofocus. Right, is that back on? Oh. See that? Because it's in full floor, and then let go, it should stop it. So I need to take the, get the washer out of there and replace the washer. Uh, and it, so I'm, I'm, what I'm doing, I, I'm lifting, I'm raising it, and it's still dripping in. So, I can't fix it tonight, I don't have the tools, 
but the tools, I don't have the replacement parts. And if I break it, then that's it. So my best thing to do is to slow the water feed down. Now there's a gate valve. Well, it's a bow valve. I can do that by just turning it. A little. Like that. That should buy me some time to the weekend. Right, so I need to get that back down there. I've, I've decided against the rope because it's only half full. But the danger up here when you start reminiscing is, is what have you got? Let's be careful, it'll fall down. Ah, I'll do it. Okay. Oh, well, there's my DVD copy box. <laughs> there's my. Uh, uh, samurai uh, statue, I'm going to call it that way. We've got here. This is a wooden box I made. I think it was for my daughter because it's all coloured in girly stuff on top. Don't do that. You know, I do it that way, it's all going to fall off. Coins and bullets. Ah, that's when I used to be metal detecting. So all the old uh, English coinage. Silver coinage. Oh, these are the bullets. These are bullets and things I must have found in the past. Uh, ah, that's a sogger, isn't it? You won't like getting hit by that. Oh, ah, musket ball. Army button. Army button. Little. There we go, a half crown. Oh, eight knees. Ornamental sword from Spain. Hey, right, listen, this ain't getting uh, the plumbing done, is it? This is procrastinating a lot more. Uh, look at that, that's a, a threatening bit. English threatening bit, 1965. Ah, a load of other coins that I found once upon a time. It's got in Irish. Ayer. 1971. 2p. Right, I've got some work to do. Right, so. So crisis averted, but now I've had to pull everything off to get at this tub because this tub contains all the plumbing part. No, it doesn't. That tub. No, it doesn't. That tub does. No, he doesn't. That, that one does. I'll dig that one out. See, I said it was that blue tub. So I just need now to root through here. Because what's the point of being a hoarder if you don't keep what you need when you need it? So taking the rubbish out, taking the drop out. Uh, I'm pretty sure I ought to have either complete ball valve end I only brought one up the other day to it as well to be honest and I wouldn't have done that because I would have thought I would have spurs but it's not in there it might be in here Uh -huh. it's, uh, I think 
think it looks like that. That might be a tap washer. But we'll see. What is it? Tuesday. Is it, is it, I've got at least till Friday to sort this out. In the end, it'll only overflow. Right. I'll put that to one side. And then I'll put my mess back. Uh, I'll leave that. I'm almost forgetting, aren't I? I've not emptied the car yet. The reason I wanted to empty this is this. This is my drill. Right, it's been a bonny drill. I've had this for, for years. Uh, solid metal gearbox. Beautiful drill. Use it. Very heavy duty, but very heavy. Very heavy. However, let's get over to the car. I'm going to have to take this with me or else you won't believe me, will you? Right, let's get over to the car. Because, and I said I wanted to show you that, well that's mine. Put that on the floor. And look what I picked up amongst this lot. I picked up, and I, oh, well this one's rusty. I picked up an identical one. Well, identical apart from that's red and that's orange. It's dead. I'll tell you what I have to do now, don't I? I'll take that off. I'll take that off. Put that one on there. Now we are winner winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. They've probably thrown that away because, oh, I can smell that. You can't smell that, but smell the burnt. That has not been used for a while. You can get that first unused burning smell. Right. So I've got a drill. Yeah, but I've only got one battery. I'll see if I can uh, liven that up. Right. I'll get this out the car. Oh, I'll tell you what I'll show you, first of all. That's where we decided to put, my wife decided she wanted the planter at the front, in front of the front door. There we go. I'm quite pleased with that. Back to scrapping. What did we get? We got one uh, scooter, aluminium. Aluminium body, hopefully aluminium controls. Big aluminium plate on a stand. I think that belongs to the TV that's there. Uh, a pogo stick. I might have a go on that. Another aluminium scooter. Pity I don't know when. It's a pity that our estate is an old estate there ain't any kids around otherwise I would give them to the kids to play with uh, old clock it's got an aluminium frame aluminium fingers tiny little circuit board inside some golf clubs there'll be non-ferrous heads I'm not going to say they're alu al aluminium because they may be some sort of alloy. I shall put that one there, or if that's not a putter, then I'll use uh, I'll use this one. I shall put this one here. Oh, come on, Dad's joke. I know it's crap. So there we go. That one's heavy that's likely to be iron so and then uh, a big tv a logic quite heavy oh lots of controls it has got hdmi so it is hd ready it's absolutely buggered look at the scratches on that so that'll be that'll be just taken in and destroyed all right I've been home now 
an hour. Not had my tea. I've still got a mess to tidy up. So, so there we go. Uh, quarter to eight in the evening. And I finally can sit down and have my tea and catch up on fellow YouTubers. Ah, all in a day's work. So the girls, <coughs> three in a row, all set up. And who've we got live? We've got Braveheart Scrapper is live with the UFO. Uh, we've got uh, Scotty, Mark Stone, the boy's the boy, Nick Jones. Dusty Blonde, of course the better half of Snobby Scrap Picker, mention Snobby Scrap Picker, he's, he, there he is, East Coast John Lapp. Oh yeah, look, you're purple. Okay, okay, yeah, there's Edward, Grandad's Workshop, you I've got a good camera. Ali Mack, of course, Edward. And then I put my house light Tim on. Tim Palmer, I think I mentioned Stop everyone there. Stop spamming the chat room. Just do a video. <laughs> there we go, hello Tina. I can't see the chat room. Because they never believe me. I'm not going to go into the chat 1944. And I've just come in. Hello, welcome. Having me tea. Edward, we ain't been to no car boots at the moment. Hello Tina. Right. That's I'll, I'll that get at the team and listen to that lot. The gang's all here. Yeah, yeah, I agree. 